Hey guys, what's up? It's Kay Jones coming at you with another video in regards to Old School RuneScape. I'm going to be talking about Jagex uh, dealing with third party clients and also Jagex in general dealing with their employment and kind of the rumors that we've heard. And you know, I think it's something that the old school community has been talking about a lot recently. We just have been losing a lot of really good popular mods within the community and it's kind of giving everybody the spooks and there's been a lot of Reddit and Twitter uh, Twitter posts going around, things like that. So in regards to third party clients, which I think right now is kind of the biggest concern and biggest issue uh, that's been between the community and Jagex. So I think Jagex is in a really tough spot right now because there's a lot of things that haven't been handled right from the beginning. So the security of old school RuneScape has always been very bad. You know, it's it's not case sensitive for password security. Authenticators can easily be um, disassembled or basically they don't do much to protect your account. And whenever a player does need sincere help and they've paid months and months of membership and et cetera, and they get hacked, Jagex doesn't really give the support or 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 really anything like that, the one-on-one -on -one support like a lot of other games do, either by phone, email, or anything like that. In fact, I think Old School RuneScape has had the worst security or customer support out of any MMO game I've ever played. So I think that Jagex has a big problem with that and they're trying to deal with that on top of the issue with third party clients. I don't think third party clients should have been something from the start. I think that Jagex kind of let OS Buddy slide along with Conduit and a lot of other things and then Ruin Light came and now I think there's this like lizard light and you know we're getting in a situation where Jagex constantly just accepted things and then they're like oh we don't want this we're just going to cancel Ruin Light completely and not allow anyone to play it because it's too overpowered or it breaks the game and so then the community came out with huge backlash. Um, saying that now you're favoring OS Buddy and just basically all that drama within the past year or so. Maybe even last year, towards the end of last year. Uh, uh, they came out with a message to the community yesterday kind of explaining or clarifying what they didn't like with third party clients and saying that we don't want you to use these uh, plugins uh, because it it causes the game to be easier or to no longer have the game's intended effect. And I think what I mean by that, like for Demonic Gorillas, they mentioned not showing the next overhead prayer. A lot of people think that that's a ridiculous, but I don't. I think, you know, without knowing what the next prayer is with Demonic Gorillas, I can get probably in with my Sarah God Sword and everything that I have for gear on my Iron Man. I could probably get in 50 kill trips now and that's without knowing what the next prayer is so if you constantly know what the next prayer and what you need to pray you are you're getting in massive demonic gorilla trips and it's kind of devaluing their drops like zenites because you know they're not harder to kill anymore and that's not the intended that was not the intention of demonics they were not supposed to be easy mini bosses they're not even mini but they were not supposed to be easy monsters and now that these plugins have made things a lot easier same with Zora you know saying what rotation is next or what to pray they don't want those plugins and I will be completely honest I agree with that I, I do not think that you know Jagex made the right choice to let these third party clients be go on to go on for so many years uh, and they kind of messed that out up from the beginning and now there's a big backlash from the community with them trying to, to change things and you know I think the problem with that is a lot of the mods and this is just me kind of assuming from what I've read they don't play as much as a lot of the community you know the hundreds and hundreds of hours that we put into the game they have like level 80 accounts and a lot of things don't change in the game of old school runescape until a mod has discovered that content and played it like mod kieran doing cox for the our chambers of Zarek raids he's like oh we need this improvement this improvement and they find those improvements finally change 
when the community's been asking for those rate improvements for a long time. So I feel like that's the problem with, I think the mods need more game time and to know what it's like from a player's perspective and to listen to the community more. And uh, I mean, I, you know, to say that you should use third party clients at your own risk is very scary because uh, I would say the majority of the community does use third-party clients at this point of the game and that's a really big issue and I think Jagex has only two options at this point regarding third-party clients. I asked uh, Mod Ash on Twitter, I said, hey, have you, has Jagex thought about incorporating their own clients and therefore, you know, with the benefits of like looking up player stats and also showing kill count or XP or levels like Ruin Light and Noah's Buddy provide or a lot of those benefits that don't break the game they're just very convenient you know like looking up other players and you know timing your farm runs which you could do in real life on your phone it's just nice to have it there um, and well Mod Ash said that it would just be way too time consuming and difficult because it's not something that could be done by 2019 let alone 2020 and it would be a massive project including incorporating it in mobile and it's a lot easier and I said well it's better late than never that was my response and that obviously Ruin Light knows Buddy were able to do it in a pretty quick time frame and his response well is you know well with the mobile development and everything else that we have to do through Java or Java it's different it there it has um repercussions and things like that and it, it would just would take a massive amount of development and time to me I don't I, I take his word for it I think he's being honest because if Jagex could do it within a reasonable amount of time I think they would have done that long time ago it's just that all of these other outside developers that have decided to make this third-party software have been so successful and they don't have to deal with really anything in the game they just connect it to the browser so I mean I think the two options are for Jagex, ban all third party clients where in the game you can no longer use third party clients. Nobody can. And I think that comes with a lot of, that's a good thing because it would bring back to the vanilla old school. I think it would anger the community greatly. Uh, but I mean, it sucks to suck. I don't think they should have been there in the first place to be honest. Uh, but at the same time, can they take that risk? I don't know. Uh, and it's just going to bring a lot of issues. And you may even have a lot of people stop playing and moving to other games. So I don't think that's the best option. But I think this next best is the best option. Would be um, combining, uh, you know, forces with another uh, third-party client. You know, being partnered with like Ruin Light or Oris Bodhi. OS Buddy or both. Being partnered with OS Buddy or RuneLight would be a really good option. Uh, even if you, they raise the membership a dollar a month, in my opinion, and partnered with RuneLight and just put that dollar towards RuneLight, and that would allow Jagex to work with the RuneLight developer and say, here's what we want, here's what we don't want, and to also ensure that it is a safe way to play the game and it is a safe client, and it's not that, oh, use it at your own risk. It's, no, we are partnered with RuneLight. We give them $1 of our profit per membership and 25 cents per bond. I don't know, something like that. If they raise the bond price by so many cents and the membership a dollar a month to have them partnered with OS Buddy or RuneLight or both, to me, that's worth it. To give the security to the players and to say that... <clears throat> We've made a contract and, you know, we're constantly working with them and we've given a certain amount of our profits. I feel like that that would be a very safe move, even if it made them raise the price a little bit. To me, I would rather have a quality game with the with the uh, developers caring about the community while also them not having to worry about financial means. You know, if pe players love the game, they will pay the money. Uh, and it's not like $11 right now is ridiculous. I don't think they should go more than ever $13, $14. Um, you want to keep it lower than WoW. But I mean, $1 to, to have a partnership with third-party clients and to make, you know, make it not a player's risk to log on to a 30-party client to have these options. I think that that is a safe 
thing to do and I really hope they consider that. As for the whole concerns with the Jagex employees and them leaving Jagex, I think that's a shame. I don't know if it has to do with pay. I don't know if it has to do with the conditions, the environment, or the management. Could be anything. But if a company does not have good management, that's going to trickle down into their work. Um, and also how they treat the community and everything like that. I tried to watch their live stream yesterday after work. I kind of pulled it up on their uh, tw uh, Twitch and I really couldn't get through the first 15 minutes. The guy talking was almost kind of like mumbling. Besides Maud Kieran, the other guys just were like, I don't really know who they are. You know, they weren't familiar faces. Uh, they just kind of weren't speaking clearly and they weren't really, really, really willing to answer questions. And if they were answering questions, they were answering the same thing over and over same answer over and over which didn't really give the community much clarity uh, I understand that they don't want to share anything they're not supposed to but at the same time you have to be able to communicate well and to communicate in a way where it's like I don't want to say something that uh, derails off of what Jagex is trying to do so I'm trying to be very careful but I can promise the community this this and this and be very honest care be have some sincerity have some emotion to that to what I watched yesterday it just seemed like the mod even talking didn't care and that that's a huge concern for me and I thought you know what I just really think that Jagex has to do some adjustments in management and especially with the security of RuneScape and third party clients. I think if they get down first the security issue, then third party clients, and then their management issue, I think that that would be a great way to go about it. I even was interested in applying for Jagex. I was like, oh whatever, I'd fly to the United Kingdom, I'd do this and that. But they turned down my application immediately, which is understandable. I'm not qualified for it. But I do think getting a new fresh set of people in there that have played the game for hours and hours and years on end and actually can see it from a player's perspective it would be really important and I really hope Jagex utilizes that and can also get people in there that can really support the community. Otherwise, I think if these things cannot be done, I don't think RuneScape will last another three to five years. If, if the account security, the third party issue, and lastly the management cannot be fixed before any other updates this game is gonna have some problems now I understand that a lot of people aren't going to agree with this and that's fine I I'm totally willing to hear what everyone has to think I think this is just a uh, interesting topic and I think it's something the RuneScape community should discuss and it's that's the only way that we can help be clear to Jagex is communication so uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't like it, you can give it a thumbs down. All good. And I would love to hear what y'all think in the comments below. Do you think otherwise? Do you think different? I would love to hear y'all's opinions. And I will catch you next time. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I've got some really cool Iron Woman videos. My account is about 35 no 30 levels from max around there so i'm really close and i can't wait to get into that pvm content it'll be really great uh i also have a bunch of guides on my channel so thanks for watching guys and i hope you all have a great day and no hate i think that <laughs> jagex in a lot of situations is damned if they do and damned if they don't but some definite restructuring needs to happen so anyway bye guys